Your God ain't with you. Well, you miss God. Amen. And so God said, now I'm hearing what I need to hear from who I need to hear from. I wasn't hearing it from my servant, but I was hearing it from the enemies. So it still gave me access. Now that I have access, I have access to walk in. And now because I have access to walk in, I'm changing the situation. I'm changing the season. I'm changing the times. You wasn't even supposed to get what you about to get. Wow. My God. Jesus. God said, you don't even deserve now the blessing I'm about to put on you. Oh, man. God saying that the blessing I'm getting ready to put on you, you don't deserve. Because of your affliction and the conversation you was having. So you don't deserve <laughs> what I'm getting ready to put on you. But because your enemies got to talk. Now I have to manifest. Yes. So I'm going to release a greater glory to where now you will begin to say that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory that's going to be revealed. That he's going to give you the greater glory because you wasn't saying the proper things, but your enemies got you blessed. Yes. Wow. Oh, man. Always. Remember, your enemies, don't forget to invite them to your table. As a matter of fact, I dare you to invite them to your table when you leave this place as an act of faith to where you don't see it changed yet. But because God said it's changed, you begin to invite your enemies to the table before the meal's already prepared. <laughs> Y'all not with me today. Y'all not with me today. Go ahead. Invite them to the table before the meal is cooked. Invite them to the table before the table is spread. Invite them to the table before the chicken is on the table with the greens and the, and the cornbread and the pinto bit. Yeah. That part. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I heard that. Invite them to the table. One last thing we had to do. <laughs> your enemies. Some of your enemies, God is saying, some of your enemies mm. you thought was friends. Oh. Wow. But I had to betray you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you thought they was friends. But I had to betray you. Mm. He said, I had to betray you because this little blessing I'm putting on you now, they didn't need to receive. Yes. Oh. God is saying, had I not had to betray you, you would have allowed them to drain you because you thought they was a friend. Mm -hmm. So they would have consumed your blessing. Right. Ooh. But because I love you so much, I had to betray you before I turned things around. Right. <laughs> now that I'm going to turn things around, my God, now they're going to try to show themselves friendly again. Right. Betrayal, I'm going to teach you this and we out. Betrayal, it hurts. Yes, Betrayal yes, it is painful. Yes, yes, I thought you loved me. I thought you had my back. Yes. I thought we was here. I thought we was, you know, homies. I thought we was tight. I thought we was ride or die. Like, I, was, I had your back, you had mine. Hmm. Betrayal is a sign. Betrayal is a sign that you are crossing over into your next dimension of purpose. Mm. Y'all not hearing me? Jesus, before he got the victory on the cross, was betrayed yes, by Judas. Yes, Somebody who ate at the table with him yes, betrayed was. him yes. before he ended up being crucified mm. and ascended. Joseph, before he got the favor that God put on his life to where it manifested in abundance, Joseph was betrayed by his brothers. Wow. Wow. Jacob, before he was changed and converted into Israel, was betrayed by his uncle Laban. Mm. Oh, wow. And so betrayal is a sign that you are right at the crossing point, right at the threshold of crossing over into your next season 
a blessing, your next dimension of authority, your next turn of power. Betrayal is the last thing that you experience before the purpose is fulfilled. Judas betraying Jesus was the last thing Jesus had to endure before his time had come to where he could be crucified. Amen. He wouldn't have been crucified if someone close to him would not have betrayed him. Right. Mm. Right. So God is saying that this season of blessing that I'm about to release on you, this breakthrough that you don't deserve but your enemies have released it for you, you're only receiving because you've been betrayed. Wow. You're not hearing oh, man. The betrayal from your enemies is what moved on me to release it. Because someone close to you who you thought had your back Someone who you thought was praying for you. Someone who you thought had your best interest. God is saying that they betrayed you and they betrayal. I use a betrayal as your final stopping point before I release your breakthrough. Wow. Your enemies were saying what I needed them to say. But someone close to you had to betray you before you were ready to cross over into what I have for you. And so you need to thank God not only for your enemies, but you need to thank God for the betrayal. Right. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this, your word. We thank you for speaking to us today. We thank you for the manifestation of your power, the manifestation of your prophetic word. We thank you for revealing yourself unto us. And now, Father, we thank you for what we know is taking place. We thank you, O oh God, for our enemies. Even now, we thank you for what they had to say. We thank you because they persecuted us. And you said, blessed is the man that endures persecution. We thank you, though, God, because our enemies work as our allies to release this blessing. And only you can use our enemies as our allies because you'll take the foolish things you can find the wise. So now we praise you. We thank you for your visitation. We thank you for your manifestation. We thank you for revealing yourself. We thank you for your word. We will forever give you the praise. Yes. We will forever serve you. Yes. We will forever acknowledge you as our provider, as our yes. healer, as yes. our deliverer, yes. as our keeper. Yes. We will forever give your name the praise. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.